Well, good evening. Before we get to the rescue mission, I just want you to take a look at the scene Mom. behind me. This is one of the Mom. hit areas in the older part of the old city here. This infrastructure is centuries old, and it's incredibly difficult now to try and clear the debris so that individuals can get home. This is actually the door to wow. someone's home. This was someone's shop. You can see these authorities trying to clear the debris here. You could see the mannequins. This was someone's life, all gone in an instant when that tremor hit Friday night. And they're even telling us not to stand too close because if you look at the building above, there are cracks in the infrastructure. So now what authorities are trying to do is figure out how to preserve buildings that are thousands and thousands of years old from the 12th wow. century. It's an incredibly difficult mission, but people like the Israeli delegation who arrived today are trying to save lives. The first thing they're trying to do is get to the people who need the most help, provide them with medical aid, give an assessment to the Israeli government, to their superiors at the Natan NGO to figure out what it is they need next. What are the next steps? We've been hearing that the first 24 to 72 hours are critical in terms of life-saving measures. Now, while this debris behind me is prevalent throughout the old city here of Marrakesh, it's still not comparative to what's going on in these southern villages where authorities aren't even able to get to them. Now, Morocco's government still has not formally asked for international aid. These are all people coming here on a voluntary basis with different types of documents, all here trying to help. So in the days to come, the cleanup is going to be critical to try and see just how many people they're able to pull out, how many people they're able to save. But the government is saying that the number of deaths is expected to rise as 70 percent of the injured are critically injured in a critical state, really needing that medical help and attention that the delegation of doctors that arrived here will provide. And I just I must say the airport here was closed today. So we arrived with the delegation in Casa Blanca and drove about five hours to get here. Wow. We've just arrived and we're trying to assess the damage with the doctors to see what it is the people will need here first on a medical basis and then the next step to rebuild the lives and everything that was lost in the tremor on Friday, Ellie. So, so Hamda, I wouldn't even say that there's a main challenge because there are multi-level challenges that, that the teams there are, are, are currently uh, confronting. There are the rescue efforts in this more remote uh, uh, location. There's the effort to safeguard what is left in this uh, UNESCO heritage uh, uh, site in the old city of Marrakesh. And of course, there's the humanitarian uh, assistance on the ground. And perhaps more than all else is the coordination of it all. What are you saying in terms of the ability of the teams of the ground to, to communicate, to cooperate, uh, to coordinate this, this mass operation? Well, the main issue here is getting to those more remote regions. Mm. This is a main city, so access here is easier for authorities. Trying to, to, to clear debris like this is actually a little more simple than trying to get to those mountainous regions where entire villages have been lost. You've been seeing our colleague Vida Benes there all day. People have lost right. everything. So the main challenge is going to be getting on the tough mountainous terrain to try and reach those people who are in desperate need of help. The clock is ticking, though, mm -hmm. on that that critical 24 to 72 hour period to save lives. So once those rescuers are able to get exactly what they need to go into the mountainous villages, those very remote areas, the life saving can then begin. I mean, you can just see behind me, people are trying to live as usual, trying to get through this part of the city. This was a critical passageway, and now it has all been destroyed. These sites here above me, cracks in the infrastructure where there, if, we're, if there were other tremors, could collapse now yeah. that there are faults in its foundation. So this is a critical time for life-saving measures and preservation of the old city here, Ellie. Hey, I see you liked it. Want more? Just hit the subscribe button right here. Go on. I know you want to.